This is literally hypnotizing. Hi guys, it's Ksenia. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing yet another single perfume review. I've been doing a lot of these lately. I think I have like three just in like the past month or two, but that's just because there's been a lot of new perfume releases. It's actually kind of hard to keep up with everything that's coming out. I'm not complaining because I love discovering new fragrances, but my wallet does not. I feel like this year I've discovered so, so many new fragrances. And this fragrance that I'm gonna be talking about today has fully redeemed itself for me and I'll get into what I mean by that. Today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new YSL Black Opium Le Parfum. I'm fully aware that there has been so many Black Opium flankers. It's almost like a running joke at this point because they come out with so many. To be completely honest, I haven't even cared to smell any of the flankers until this one because of the DNA of this one and we'll get into all of that. But all you need to know is this has been the first black opium that has really attracted me other than the first one. Now the first one is a fragrance that to be honest, I don't use that much. I keep it around in my collection because I do like the scent of it and I know it kind of gets a little bit of backlash because it's like a basic fragrance. I don't think it's basic at all. Like if you were a sweet lover, I think this smells super, super sexy. There's like this strong coffee vibe. There's some florals. There's a little bit of sweetness. Overall, I think it is a really, really sexy fragrance that whenever I have worn, I've gotten compliments on. But like I said, I've discovered so many other perfumes that I just kind of wear more regularly. So I feel like with this fragrance, it's not that I would say that I don't like it because clearly it's in my collection. You guys know I declutter perfumes very easily nowadays. I don't like my fragrance collection to get too out of hand. But I don't think I'm going to be decluttering this because I love that it's there whenever I need it, if that makes sense. But this new flanker truly has captured all of my attention and I think if you are a vanilla lover, you need to watch this video. So with all that being said, if you want to know all about this brand new fragrance, then just keep watching before we get into this video Please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and turn your post notifications on and let's get started All right, let's start off with the outward appearance of this new flanker now This is what the bottle looks like I got this fragrance in a one fluid ounce just because I wanted to kind of test it out I had a strong inkling that I would like it But I still wanted to just get a one fluid ounce and I got it at Ulta and there was no testers So this was a complete blind buy for me So I feel like just by that alone you can kind of tell how much I thought I was gonna love this Here are the bottles in comparison As far as the bottles themselves, this one comes in this all sleek black packaging It is completely solid Whereas the original black opium has this little circle of like see-throughness Which I kind of like because you can kind of see how much juice you have Whereas with this one you can't But that's not something that ever bothers me so I don't really care now let's get into what is inside of this fragrance. So before I tell you what I think about it, let's get into the notes. So this new Le Parfum version has a lot of vanilla. That is what drew me to this. This fragrance has four notes, four different notes of vanilla. I don't think I have any other perfume that has more than like maybe two vanilla notes in it. This has four. So immediately I was like, sold. So this has top notes of pear, cinnamon, green mandarin, middle notes of solar notes, jasmine sandback, and orange blossom, and base notes of Madagascar vanilla, bourbon vanilla, vanilla absolute, coffee, vanilla orchid, and patchouli. So it's just a crazy mashup of so much sweetness. In my opinion, I think if you are a vanilla lover, you would truly love this fragrance because not only does it have those four notes of vanilla when you're actually reading them, you actually smell all of that vanilla. There's one thing for a fragrance to have all this sweetness in the notes and it just looks so amazing note-wise, and then you go and smell it and you're like, this has nothing to do with the notes that it has. This, on the other hand, is a true reflection of the notes that it has. It has so much vanilla right off the bat. You don't even need to spray this fragrance out to get that vanilla. It is so strong, but that's not all there is. In the background of everything, like no matter what is in here, it's vanilla, okay? That is constantly something that you smell, but it also has some uniqueness to it. It has a little sliver of the original black opium DNA in it. Now, I do think that you could easily own this even if you have the original because they are different enough where you can do that without feeling like you have the same fragrance. Not even different enough. I think these are entirely two different scents. I think this one has about like maybe 5% of the original DNA in it otherwise it's like a completely different fragrance it has the same vibe like you still get that sweet sugary 
tiny bit of this coffee element, but I feel like this one is way sweeter, way, 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 way more gourmand feeling than the original Black Opium, where I feel like in the original you get a lot more of the jasmine. You still kind of get it in this, but there's way more of a sweet gourmand element in here than there is in the original Black Opium, where you more so smell the coffee and the florals with like a little bit of sweetness. This is like a ton of sweetness, a ton of vanilla with a little bit of florals and a little bit of coffee just to add a little something. So I am absolutely obsessed with this. I wore this fragrance the entire day yesterday and it lasted me. I could constantly smell it all day. I actually have it on right now, right here on my arm because I sprayed it out right before filming this video and I can smell it so strongly. It settles to such a creamy vanilla. As far as fragrance comparisons, to me this fragrance smells a lot like Charosa 40 by Sol de Janeiro. There is a lot of people that are also saying that this fragrance smells like Vanilla 28 and you guys know my first impression on Vanilla 28 was not that great. I smelled it recently and don't get me wrong, it's not like I completely was like, oh my god, I really love this. But I feel like I'm kind of coming around. Like, I'm kind of liking it. I sprayed it at Sephora the other day and I was like, wow, this actually doesn't smell as bad as I thought or like as bad as I remember. Not that it ever smelled bad to me, but that fragrance just smelled a little mature. But I sprayed it on my skin and I surprisingly didn't mind it for once. But yes, there is totally a vibe to Vanilla 28 in here. It's better in my opinion. It's almost like Vanilla 28 and Black Opium and Cherosa 40. They all had a baby. They made this, but I almost feel like this is even sweeter. And it kind of has a tiny bit of a powdery element to it as well. This fragrance, I can already picture it, is going to be so, so, so good. It's going to be like an intoxicating level of good paired up with not only this body spray, but with the Bongia Bright uh, body cream. I have that in my bathroom. I love it. It's one of my favorite scents. It's this scent, basically. But I can just imagine that body cream layered with this mist, layered with this you will have them to their knees. Like, I don't think anybody could resist this fragrance. Like, truly, it is so intoxicating. It is so sexy. It's so alluring. It's seductive. It's got this dark mysteriousness to it. And that is totally my vibe. That is why I was so, so, so excited about this new flanker. And I haven't been excited about any. I honestly don't even know how many flankers there are. I, I would hear of flankers here and there, but I wouldn't even be interested enough to look at the notes. Like, that's how much I just did not care. But when this came around and I heard like one or two reviews and I started getting really curious about it. And then as soon as I heard that it had four vanilla notes, it was game over. Like I was already halfway to Ulta. Fragrance wise, the scent for me rating 10 out of 10. Longevity, 10 out of 10. At least on me, this lasts forever. I saw a couple reviews that said that this fragrance was like softer than they thought. And that it didn't really last and that like... They didn't smell it that much. I don't know what fragrance they're smelling because when I smell this, this is strong to me. This leaves a nice scent bubble. It has amazing projection, amazing sillage. So I don't understand how this is soft at all. Like I feel like this is the same level of strength as the original Black Opium is. Not only that, but it also lasts a really long time. I almost feel like this kind of lasts longer than the original does for me. So I cannot wait to try this fragrance out more, to pair it up with more. I have a cruise coming up. I will be bringing this fragrance with me to that cruise because I cannot wait to wear this like dinner time with a cute little outfit and this fragrance paired with that lotion, paired with this. Yeah, this is coming with me for sure. So that is it for this review. Please let me know what you guys' thoughts are on this fragrance. I've been hearing really good things, to be honest. Like, every time there's a new fragrance, it's kind of like hit or miss. Some people really love it, some people don't. And I feel like with the past few new fragrances that have come out, it's been kind of in the middle. And, like, a lot of them have honestly been negative. This one, I feel like I've heard so many good reviews on and just, like, very few bad reviews on so it seems like people are really really loving this one and me included i think whether you like the original black opium or you did not 
try this fragrance out. I highly, highly recommend you go and smell the testers because it's different enough. It's a completely different scent. So I totally think that if you hated black opium, you could love this fragrance. That's how much faith I have in this one. So if you do go out and smell this fragrance, please come back to this video and let me know your thoughts on it because I'm actually like very curious on you guys' opinions of this new fragrance because I absolutely love it. So that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and turn your post notifications on and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!